Google Cloud Text to Speech enables developers to synthesize natural sounding speech with 100 plus voices, available in multiple languages and variants. But how is it related? Actually, it is totally not related. Aditya, yes, Aditya, that's how I pronounce it, wrong way. Anyway, he is just using it for making videos better. Nothing else. Maybe he needs to understand, this does nothing. However, to the main topic. Programming language. Yes, you heard right. This time he made his own programming language. Yes, he really did. Why, you ask? I guess you should question him. I'm not interested to talk anymore with you. This was just a demo program. I don't know why you clicked this video, but as you did, now. Go. And. Ask. Aditya. Now that soon, um, never mind to the main topic, I guess. So, hello there, it's me, Atashmi Aditya, quite a very different intro today, and, uh, yeah, this, this, uh, yeah, it's, okay, let's go ahead and let me say you, cells, yeah, you heard it right, at that time, he said, programming language and now I am seeing cells. What do I mean? Um, let's scroll down a bit. So yeah this is something like uh, I want to show you that this is something actually that's just a social preview something like for cells. Now if you are really wondering what cells is then let's first go to about and yeah that, that is a lot of content. So let's see, um, cells is a programming language, yeah you heard that. Now we are getting a relation, what he said. From its code it's more likely to be an SOLANG. What is an SOLANG you ask? So alright, we'll just search that and let's go to first result. This wiki is dedicated to uh, something. So, wait a second. Um, well, we really need to think about what an SOLANG is, so let's actually go back and actually let's zoom in. Alright, I guess I'm changing a little bit of uh, search and let's go right there and for sure this was a thing to happen. So yeah, problem solved. I totally didn't do some like inspect tab and stuff. So yeah, an esoteric language, or whatever it is, is uh, sometimes known as esolang is a programming language designed to, okay, let's go to main part. Such things, software art, hacking, another language, joke. So yeah, I, I don't know, I guess uh, maybe it's, um, I don't know what to say about that, but yeah, even as a joke. So yeah, I, there are some, okay, maybe not some, but many such languages, so it's just like I made another one, yeah. So what about Sils, you say? Yeah, it's definitely like, made in month of May, yeah, I, I know I'm going to do months late. Yeah, really, I'm, I'm really late. I'm sorry about that. Um, somehow, let's get back to content. Um, you can read this later, I'll provide you a link, uh, maybe, I guess. So, w when we see these examples, we understand like, what is this? Yeah, I know, maybe you might understand a bit. So, yeah, this is just a Hello Cells program. So, this is like print, and it's like everything is in single line only because that's what it is. Um, if we ever find, yeah, here, the second. The code is written in one line, technically one line, but in cells, that's that's what you what I mean. You understand? Cells. Uh, maybe I should stop joking. Yeah. So yeah, technically one line, but yeah, those stuff. We can also say that one line divided into multiple segments or lines merged into one line and stuff. So yeah, Python 3.9. This this project is. Python 3.9 and uh, uh, it's open source links in description again and um, yeah 200 to 204 lines 
can do much things, misses a lot of stuff, has a cheat sheet because why not? I mean, yeah, let's let's just skip that. Learn this link takes to nowhere. It just says site under construction. Okay, I guess for this, uh, no, not yet. Okay, let's use the same trick, but instead, let's uh, okay. Uh, something like this site under construction, fab icon failure, never mind that. And I guess that, that's the thing. Um, yeah, that's just why it's weird. So, yeah, I guess. Let's go back and we are again to the cells. Well, it is available for Windows, so yeah, I guess. So, yeah, I guess that's more about it. And uh, yeah, I guess another thing. All the video files. Actually, let's uh, do some like zoom in or whatever. So yeah, now that's better. And I guess yeah, I've I've released all of them. Like literally. Um, here you can see. Um, in playlist, I have the whole playlist. You can. I will also send links about this in description. Yeah, there are 33 and uh, it's all about like, uh, it'll take hours, maybe even much more. Um, let's view the full playlist and yeah, it's like 15 hours or so. Or uh, maybe I don't know much, but yeah, I guess. And yeah, still, so links in description. By the way, if you want something like, um, some examples and demos then I guess I can provide you some and actually it's a thing that I should also say one thing let's actually download the executable so yeah if it says cells and uh, it's like it might be dangerous then it isn't um, yeah because if you really want to prove then I can turn it right here didn't say so yeah here we run cells so for first time it might take a bit of time and this screen might pop up just run anyway after a little bit of time it will take a little bit of time and then start up yeah here you go when you see these three stuff then it's ready to use commands so what I can also do is something like this, yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? So for printing anything, just something like exercise, that's literally a print function. So let's print hello cells. Okay, sorry. So you need to add something like this, it's, it's really necessary. Now. Because we are going to now directly complex things, let's select this copy paste. Now what this is, is a simple truth machine. That means if you input something like uh, 0, then it will just print 0 once and then it's over. Next is uh, if you print 1. If you print one, then it will print one continuously. And yeah, another thing this this uh, programming language has no ifs and for loops and for loops at all. So yeah, that's that's the point. And that's why it's hard to make something like these. So yeah, this should continuously print one. So yeah, it does. You can see this scrolling um, exponentially actually yeah that's that's quite a bit of speed um, yeah just control C to end it um, yeah it will keyword interrupt and stuff and yeah so I guess that was about it and you can get more information about about examples cheat sheet even credits for some reason if you are interested yeah it's also in github and yeah, I guess that's uh, like it. And by the way, 
I also have a time lapse in my channel. So yeah, right, right here, time lapse, some short so yeah. So yeah, the next thing I want to say is uh, here are some content creators. Um, you would like the contents historical specific. So yeah. And now another thing, yeah, sub count. We will soon reach our next goal, 100, and yeah, that's that's it. I guess that's it for now. I hope. So, um, I mean, um, I guess that's it. Maybe this. Is a time lapse. Yeah, this music. Grab it on. Yeah, some suggestions. Yeah, you should uh, really watch it. We'll soon reach hundred. By the way, this is the end. That's it. Thanks for watching. That's it.